Hey everybody, Substatica here with another save import code for The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners Chapter 2 Retribution. And this is a good one. This save import code is going to make available some weapons and items that are not accessible in the native game. And you'll be able to get these items on Quest, on PC VR 2, and on Pico. Now I know those platforms have been kind of left behind as far as mods go, so this is gonna be a little taste of the extra stuff that's in the game that you cannot unlock. So items that have been cut from the game, and that includes the Burst Fire 9mm, a Miner's Headlamp, and Lee's Axe, to mention a few. Before we get started though, take a minute to click the S in the corner to subscribe. Heading for 50,000 subscribers, I'd love to have you on the team. Also like, share, leave a comment, all that good stuff helps. And if you wanna support the channel, there's a list of ways you can do that in the description. And that's going to allow me to continue to provide these types of codes and mods and instructional videos. Let's get into it. To use a save code, you wanna select new game. You wanna select a profile to overwrite. You wanna select import. Click enter six digit code. And this particular code is Victor Kilo One Sierra Victor Whiskey. So VK1 SVW. Select the enter icon, select import. And you'll know it worked if you see day 666, 666 hours and six minutes. Select next, decide whether you want to go through the tutorial or not, and start a new game. Tourist, you alive? Up here, Taurus. Now, for this dev save, you need to stand we start up. with the burst fire nine millimeter on our hip, much to his dismay. And you're going to want to take out your pack and grab one of these headlamps throw it on the ground and grab it again. You'll see it'll disappear and we should get a notification that we've now acquired the miner hat. There it is. Now what this does is it allows us to affix the flashlight to our head and we get a centered light source that moves with our headset, which is great for making content and screenshots, as well as just lighting things up. That's fun. Now, over your shoulder during the prelude, you're going to have the two-handed chainsaw, which is also cut from the game. There's a couple more things in your pack, but you'll have to collect those outside of the meeting with Father Carter. So let's head over to the resting place and see what else this dev item save has for us. So back at the resting place, we can check out what we have waiting for us on the bus. Now you should only have to put on the miner hat once, but sometimes when you travel, your flashlight will reset to your chest. So you just have to turn it on, reaffix it to your head if that's where you want it to be. You can also grab it off your head that seems to be easier with your right hand and reaffix it if you want or just let go and it goes back to your head. These are dev items so there are glitches and inconsistencies because they were never meant for production and for Quest or PSVR 2 or Pico this save import code or if I make ones in the future are likely the only way you'll be able to try these items out unless some sort of debug build is released. You can see we've got the tables at level 10 and all of the recipes unlocked. And if we head onto the bus, we can see right away, we've got Lee's ax, the professor. This was cut from the game, so not released. Look at that beefy ax head. 
but you can try it out with this save import. We also have more burst fire nine millimeters. You can see that the textures are not finished. We do have a second grab location for support, if you can call it that. It has a 65 round magazine and probably the fastest fire rate in the game. That's a lot of fun. We also have the famous Rambo knives, as I call them. You can actually find one of these in the release of Retribution on one platform, I think Quest, but here you have a couple just waiting for you in the bus to try out. Then we have the oh-so-awkward two-handed chainsaw. This one confuses me, and uh, that's likely why they didn't include it in the game. I guess maybe it's easier for right-handed or left-handed players. I'm not sure. It's a, it's a strange beast, but uh, you can try it out. You got four of them there, plus the one that you had in the prelude. Then in the chest, you've got a whole page of burst fire nine millimeters, a whole page of Rambo knives, a whole page of suppressors, smelling salts, creatine, guts, and then the items required for the exile trades. You've got all of your materials are maxed out as well as all of your ammunition. So there you go, an opportunity for Quest, Pico, and PSVR2 players to get a taste of not necessarily modded items, but cut items. And I tell you, the burst fire is plenty fun. Now, if you haven't already, take a minute to click the S in the corner to subscribe. Heading for 50,000 subscribers, I'd love to have you on the team. Also like, share, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this video, this save code, or any codes that you'd like to see for retribution. Now making these codes isn't easy. I've spent probably the last year and a half at various times spending hours on end decoding the save files and figuring out how to make these types of modifications. And if you'd like to see me continue to do that sort of work with the channel, then there's ways that you can support listed in the description. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.